With the 9-11 anniversary just behind us, who can forget? Certainly not San Diego trial attorney Dave Casey, who on that fateful day huddled with other attorneys looking for a way to help. His answer, so basic, so straightforward. The victims should be compensated immediately. And with the rubble of the towers still smoldering, he and other trial attorneys came up with a plan. We came up with the idea of the Victims' Compensation Fund. They took their plan to Congress and got a bill setting up the fund, passed in record time. And signed into law on the 21st of uh, September. It was a wonderful moment to be able to share. But it's just been one moment in Dave's career, full of taking on big challenges, like suing Exxon over the Exxon Valdez oil spill on behalf of fishermen who lost their livelihood. Not an easy fight against a company bigger than most countries. It has been a very difficult journey. Exxon stalled the case for years while a number of the clients died. Here we are in the year 2009, and we're finally wrapping up. Yes, it took 20 years to obtain justice for those whose lives were ruined by Exxon. They were very formidable. Just as formidable was Big Tobacco, who Dave took on in a landmark case where the tobacco companies took the position that cigarettes weren't addictive. Cigarettes and nicotine clearly do not meet the classic definitions of addiction. I don't believe that nicotine or our products are addictive. I believe that nicotine is not addictive. But Dave's case forced Big Tobacco to give up critical documents. The greatest service done was the forcing open of the documents. That acknowledged all the lies of tobacco executives over all the years. It was definitely a victory for the little guy. Plus, there was the settlement that forced Big Tobacco to pay out hundreds of millions of dollars. The eventual settlement helped fund a number of good programs. Such as the Truth Campaign, which has helped reduce teen smoking. But even Dave has seen setbacks, such as a case where he sued Mitsubishi over the use of American POWs as slave laborers in World War II. We were shocked at what had happened to POWs. But perhaps most shocking was what the State Department did, dashing all hope for justice. They succumbed, in my opinion, to political pressure from Japan. One fight lost, but Dave hasn't stopped. I'm ready for the next uh, battle. And for Dave Casey, it's just another day at the office. Uh, it won't be about what money I made. It'll be about what difference did I make in people's lives.